Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big time changes to you. And I am Wumi Ademola. Beloved, I want to ask you a very serious question. It's serious because your answer to this question will determine where you spend your eternity after you, your life on this earth is done. Are you born again? I know that the term born again is a term that, you know, is loosely used today, but do you really know what it means to be born again? And are you really born again? Let's take a look at that today. What does it mean to be born again? Number one, to be born again means that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you accept him into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, that he is the only way, the only true way to God and the only way you can get to heaven. John 1, 11 and 13 says that Jesus came to the world that was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But listen to this, to all who did accept him and believe in him, he gave the right to become children of God. God. And so you become a child of God the moment that you place your 100% faith in Jesus Christ as the Savior, the only Savior, the only Messiah of the world. The moment you do that, the moment you believe and surrender your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says you become born again. You become born of God. It continues in that same scripture. John 1, the first 13 says, they did not become his children in any human way by any human parents or human desires. They were born of God. So when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you become born of God. You become born again. Again, the Bible says in first John, 5 1 everyone who believes that Jesus is the Messiah has been born of God and everyone who loves the father also loves the one born of him so the first way to really determine if you are born again and the first implication of being born again is that you believe that Jesus is the Messiah and you accept him into your life as your personal Lord and Savior but you need to know it doesn't end there it does not end there number two this is how you know that you are really born again. This is what it really means to be born again. Not just to believe Jesus Christ and receive him as your savior, but you must also practice righteousness as your way of life. The Bible in 1 John 2, 29 says, if you know that he, that is the Lord, is absolutely righteous, you know for certain that everyone who practices righteousness, doing what is right and conforming to God's will has been born of him. So how do you know someone has been born of God? How do you know someone is born again? That individual practices righteousness, does what is right and conforms to the will of God. Look at friend, it's not just because you call Jesus your Lord. That's not what makes you a Christian all by itself. Jesus himself said it in Matthew chapter 7, that not everybody that calls me Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. And then he now said that it is only those who practice righteousness that will enter the kingdom of heaven. So it's not enough for you to call him your Lord. It's not enough for you to believe that he is Lord and he is the only Messiah. Number two, to be born of God, you need to practice righteousness as a way of life. Scripture again says in 1 John 3, verse 7, and I'm going to read verse 9. It says, little children, believers, dear ones, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who practices righteousness, the one who strives to live a consistently honorable life in private as well as in public and to conform to God's precepts is righteous just as he is righteous. Don't let anybody lead you astray and say to you, all you need to do to be born again is just to believe Jesus is the Lord and confess him with your mouth that he is Lord. It's even Jesus himself said it. That's not enough. That's why he said not everybody that says Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who go on after that to practice righteousness as a way of life. It goes on to say in verse 9 of 1 John 3 that no one who is born of God, no one who is truly born again, deliberately 
knowingly and habitually practices sin because God's seed, God's principle of life, the essence of his righteous character remains permanently in him who is born again. And so if you are born again, the scripture says, you cannot habitually live a life characterized by sin because you are born of God and you long to please God. Someone who is truly born again, here's how you know they long to please God. They do not practice sin as a way of life. They do not give excuses for sin. They do not, you know, just, they do not are not non-challenged about sin, but instead they are grieved when they sin, they're quick to confess, and they're forever practicing righteousness and pursuing holiness as we're told to do in Hebrews 12, 14. So friend, if you are born again, righteousness must be your way of life. And last but not the least, the third way you can know someone is really born again. And by the way, all these three components have got to be intact before you can really say somebody is born again. Number three, live a life of love. God is so huge on this. Ephesians 5, 1 through 2 says, As children copy their fathers, you as God's children are to copy him, are to copy God. Live your lives in love. The same sort of love which Christ gives us and which he perfectly expressed when he gave himself up for us in sacrifice to God. So here's how you know that you're really born again. You live a life of love. You don't hate on people. If you really have become born again, something's going to happen to your heart. You are going to move from darkness to light, from hate to love. The Bible says in 1 John 3.10, 3, it says, Here's how you tell the difference between God's children and the devil's children. The one who won't practice righteous ways isn't from God, nor is the one who won't love his brother or sister a simple test. So one of the simplest way to test if somebody's really born again or not, or if you are born again or not, is your love walk. When you're born again, you will love your brother, you will love your sister, you will love all people. First Peter 1 22 says, it says, you have made yourself pure by obeying the truth. So you have an honest and true love for each other. So love one another deeply from your hearts. And listen to this friend. It says, verse 23, you have been born again by means of the living word of God. You were not born again from a seed that will die. You were born from a seed that cannot die. So here is how you know you're born again. When you live a life of love, friend, honestly assess your life by these three criteria and be very sure that you're born again. Remember the sobering words of Jesus. Not everybody that claims to be a Christian, not everybody that calls him Lord is going to enter heaven at the end of the day. You want to be sure that you're one of those people that Jesus is going to welcome into his kingdom because you are truly born again. You don't just call him Lord, but you practice righteousness and you walk in love. God bless you, friend. I do trust you were blessed today. Please share this video. It's so important. Get the word out there. If you've not done so, subscribe to this channel so you can be the first to know when the next episode comes out and follow all my social media handles. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <music>